So you want to create this jiggly animation. OK. Now let me just quickly show you what's going on in this scene here. As you can see, there's this jelly cake and uh, all around here there are some things. OK, there's this dinner plate, there's this cube which is bent. If you watch from the side, you can see that it's bent and it creates this very nice background here. OK, and as you of course can see that there are these fingers and they're moving around this plate so that there's this um, there's a reason for this animation. OK, and as you can see this, um, if I go back to my original camera, as you can see, there are two uh, ways that I did animate this jelly. The first way is the old way, which I saw in a very good video uh, some time ago, uh, which basically teached, taught you how to create this, um, this effect. But for me, I thought this is not really, it's, it's okay, but it's kind of, I don't know, it seems a little bit rigid. So I came up with another way. And for me, this way looks a little bit better. So let me just jump in, jump into a new uh, project here uh, and do this from the ground up from zero to hero. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this uh, object here and you want to go to the side view and go in the points mode, which is over here and select. I already have made the selection, but you have to select all of these points and like half of the object. And then you have to find this set vertex weight and set it at 100. OK, now if you double click on this vertex map and go in this uh, front view, you can see that this vertex map is um, this yellow part is basically 100% of the effect and the red part is 0%. And you can go in here and change this to smooth and click apply and it's going to smooth this out. And you can click this a couple more times and as you can see, it's smoother. So for the first type of animation, I'm going to search for this jiggle deformer, hold on shift and enter. And if I play the animation right now, there's nothing happening because there's no animation. And let me just quickly add this uh, vibrate tag and enable position uh, 15, let's say, so that the uh, this dinner plate moves around a bit. And as you can see, there's a slight delay here in this animation. And that's because of the jiggle deformer. As you can see, this uh, jelly cake is um, a child of this dinner plate. So that's me it means that it's going to move um, together. So now if I enable this jiggle deformer, you can see that there's a slight delay here. And if you take this vertex map and if you put it in here, you will see that only the top part uh, moves. So the second way, which is for me, I think it looks better. I will duplicate this. I will disable it. I will delete this vertex map from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate also this vertex map and click here invert. And now I will go in this jiggle deformer, the second one, and drag this in the stiffness. OK, so as you can see, the animation is a little bit different now, but it's kind of sliding over here. So what you can do to fix that is to add the first map also to this restriction tab over here. So now if I play the animation, it's moving like this. And you know, I think it looks really good. And if I go back to my original file, as you can see in the timeline, I have animated these fingers and this dinner plate so that the animation is a little bit different, but it's the same thing. It's the same. The jiggle deformers uh, work in the same way. Okay, and that's it. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe leave your job if you don't like your job. You know, life is full of miracles.